Marvel and DC have been rivals for decades and with the comics they were always on equal footing. DC actually had better characters in my opinion but this all changed with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. For many years Marvel has been consistently putting out great content in their movies and TV shows. Well at least most of them, I'm looking at you Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But what if in an alternate world or perhaps in the future DC grew some balls and decided to rework their shattered timeline and adopt a well-built, consistent universe? This is what I'm here to do. This is part 2 of my series where I am tackling phase 2 of my DCEU. The first movie in phase 2 would be a Superman and the Flash movie, Superman and the Flash race in this movie in the Flash also help Superman take down Doomsday and Lex Luthor. Caitlin Snow and Vibe play a supportive role for The Flash. Supergirl would also be in this movie as a cameo. Next would be a Batman sequel that would be taken from the death in the family comic series, with Jason Todd's death by the Joker towards the end of the movie. The end credit scene would be for the solo Wonder Woman movie. The next movie is Phase 2 is a Wonder Woman solo movie. This will be basically the same as the original movie but it will take place during the Cold War instead. Her love interest will be played by Ryan Gosling just to keep that celebrity cameo going. I've made a casting change to her and changed the actress to Emmy Rossum. This movie she fights Ares as well, but in defeating him she stops the Cold War from escalating into a full nuclear conflict. Movie number 4 is Suicide Squad Volume 1 it is the original but better. Harley isn't in it and Enchantress is trying to summon Darkseid but the Suicide Squad stops her. Next is Batman, Red Hood. In Sarajevo, Bosnia, the Joker brutally assaults the captured Jason Todd, the second Robin, in an abandoned warehouse with a crowbar. Jason is locked in the warehouse with a bomb, which explodes and kills him before Batman arrives. Five years later in Gotham City. A mysterious vigilante called Red Hood assembles a meeting of the city's most prominent drug dealers. Batman and Nightwing interrogate the Joker at Arkham Asylum about Red Hood, but he denies involvement. Back at Wayne Manor, Bruce digs up Jason's grave site and finds a fake body made of high-end latex. Enraged, he goes to Lex Luthor's mansion and demands the truth about Jason. Lex reveals that he switched Jason's body and revived him in the Lazarus Pit because he felt responsible for the boy's death, Lex was the one who hired the Joker as a distraction. Jason went mad and escaped. Lex had been trying to find Jason for years, until he heard the news from Gotham of him becoming the Red Hood. Lex promises to stay out of any further conflicts between Batman and the Red Hood, ruefully saying that he's done enough. Jason and Batman fight and it is very similar to the ending of Winter Soldier. Jason ends up dragging a unconscious Batman to his cave and leaving the city. The last movie is Superman, Nightmare, it will basically be Batman vs Superman. The main plot revolves around a riff in the Justice League. This movie would have made more sense and been more impactful if it was later in the cinematic universe instead of their rushed interaction in the actual DCU. The Flash from the future travels back in time to warn Bruce Wayne about Superman. He tells him that in his timeline Superman and Darkseid rule the world. This and his fight with Red Hood leaves Batman to be extremely paranoid. This movie would also grab some ideas from the Tower of Babel comic series where Batman becomes so paranoid that the Justice League will become so powerful that he creates contingency plans for all its members, most prominently Superman. This would cause a riff in the Justice League and two teams would fight on either ends. Superman's team consists of Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. Batman would have the Flash, Cyborg and Green Arrow. The two groups fight and the result is Team Superman wins and Batman and his team are forced to go into hiding. This will be the end of Phase 2. Make sure to check out my other rear eye videos and like and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys. So it doesn't matter what my crime is then? Not really. No, be real. No, because I love you. Oh, my God. That's I don't I don't Dude, think I, you would have to do something so fucking insane. That's what I'm saying. What is it? What would be the thing? <sighs> yeah, like Je if you Jeffrey Dahmer, like if you fucking like raped and ate people. Then I'd be like, Bobby. <laughs> 
Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you do that? I'm hungry. All right. 